minus five last night. So not especially cold, but just kind of like wet cold. Something you need a fire to pull a chill out of your bones. We have some mild weather coming through and it looks like maybe midweek we're gonna see plus eight and rain. Yay. Followed by snow, so hopefully we get a good dump of snow again. But we have to put our attention towards our pond. It's just starting to get, you know, we're a little bit cautious with ice. But it's half a foot to a foot, so we're gonna go out and clear off our skating rink. It's kind of, the snow is crusting on top. It's gonna to take a lot of work, but if we get rain midweek, it's just gonna completely destroy everything there. So we have to get the snow off. So there's our work project ahead. Ah, and my winter shed. Secondary fan just kicked in there. So that means it's a little bit warmer than five degrees. at eight so I don't see how it would be at eight degrees I'll have to go in there and take a peek uh, I haven't spent too much time in the winter shed it's nice just to close the door and walk away uh, but this time of year even if it does get a little bit warmer the bees are very settled they're just drifting into winter so there's not a lot of activity within the nest and they they're tired, they want to go to sleep. They're just kind of like me. They want to be done with the year and just forget about things for a month or two. So if we get some mild weather come through, they might beard a little bit, but they're not going to get too active. We'll just kind of see how things go. I'll take a peek in there to see how they're making out. If that second fan's on, you know, it must be getting warm in there. The key <clears throat> like I don't have refrigeration maybe that's something I should invest in ah but it's just added to another that big list of things we need they say I have a quote and they they suggest I have one ton per hundred hives so I need roughly 1500 ton no 15 tons of refrigeration to be able to manage a 1500 hive shed capacity like this but my square footage is smaller than the suggestion, so I might have to bump that refrigeration up uh, just to be able to handle its capacity, which is very expensive. The well, last time I checked, it was like over $65,000 to use that with only a few certain times within the year. I just have trouble justifying it. We do, oh, the fan turned off. So it must be around that five degrees. So the shed's sitting pretty. I could have used that refrigeration this fall though, as we had that mild weather come through, not allow me to move my bees in, and then all of a sudden drop me a foot and a half of wet snow. So, so I know there's guys in the province that have refrigeration and they're able to move their bees like two weeks beforehand, move them in, get everything all tucked away in the shed, and then they enjoyed hunting throughout that shitty weather while I was digging them out of snow so it provides you options like that especially the bigger guys they have uh, too many hives to to do what I did but at any rate that's where I'm about on that the main advantage is in the spring when the shed gets restless and we get these continual mild spells that come through that's where, where the refrigeration really pays so it helps keep that temperature down and just helps keep the stress within the shed a lot more manageable, I guess you can say. But at any rate, that's always a place to put money. The key is good bees right off the start. And then everything else manages through. Bee drop, bee drop. Five degrees. Ooh, they're flying at me. They don't like that white light. This might be a short visit. I'm gonna have to come through and just do a nice generalized sweep up. 
I'm using a lot of drops since I was in here last. Bees, bees, bees. Nice and easy. Look at the drop already. A little bit of bearding. Oh, I'm going to be looking at this box all year. Just to remind me to upkeep my equipment this coming season. It'll be a make work project for the crew. I'm going to get him hired back on. Look at the drop on the floor here. It's no wonder. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a sweep in this shed. more aisle before I head back out. Ooh. That puppy, not only does a box suck, hmm. Feeling of stress. Maybe where refrigeration might come in just to help maintain cooler temperatures if we start falling into a mild spell. I'm not sure what winter is going to bring here. I'm hoping it's a kind of a cooler, snowier type winter. I sure hope we don't have a very mild, warm, dry winter again. It'd be much easier on these bees if it's a cooler winter because then I'll be able to. Whoa, I'll be able to cool this shed down much more effectively. Big wall of bees. going to increase the fan in here. I want my air exchange to pull it down further than five degrees. All I can really do right now is just sit and watch see how the winter maintains itself. Every time I look at myself, it's like, whoa. I appreciate all the support towards November this year. I had gained $450 on holding this stash on for November. So it's, all you know, draw a little bit of attention, provide a bit of a whip, have a little bit of fun. But this is driving me absolutely crazy. So December 1st, I'll look like a new man.